What's going on guys welcome back to the python tips and tricks tutorial series in today's video we're going to talk about lambda expressions which are anonymous functions in python so let us get right into it first of all we're going to start with the basics with the basic definitions and the major difference between an anonymous function and an ordinary function in python is that we don't define the anonymous functions using the dev keyword like my function here uh some parameters in the parentheses and then some code here um we don't do it like that but we actually define the function as a lambda, a lambda expression and then what we do is we save it in a variable we pass it directly or whatever we want to do with it usually it's a very short function it's a one-liner or something like that not too sophisticated um and we would go about it something like that we could say my square for example and this is obviously a function that shall square and return the input so if i pass five it returns 25 and so on um and now instead of saying def my square and passing the parameter returning x times x um what we're going to do is we're going to say lambda lambda and then i'm specifying the parameters so uh, what are the parameters for this anonymous function in this case it's just x and then after the colon i specify what the return value shall be in this case x times x or you could also say x squared x to the power of two i'm just going to return x times x and now this thing here is a lambda expression and my square is not just a variable with a value it's a callable function so i can go ahead and say print my square and then just pass uh, five for example and in the result we'll see 25 so five times five this is how you define lambda expressions in python now, of course, this does not only work for one parameter, we can also pass multiple parameters here. Instead of saying just x, I can say x and y. And then uh, I could rename this to my sum, for example, and then I could just return x plus y. And of course, I can add multiple parameters here. And then here I just say my sum, my sum and 5 and 10, for example, then the result is 5 plus 10. So 15, as you can see down here. Um, and this is not only possible with one, two, three, or four uh, parameters, we can also pass a collection of parameters. So we can say uh, lambda and then the star sign or the asterisk symbol, I don't know, I don't know what it's called. And then we just say arcs, arguments. And now I can just go ahead and say sum arcs. And this is the return value. So in this case, I can just go ahead, say my sum and pass 10, 20, 30, five this should give me 65 as you can see it does so we can also pass collections uh of parameters and arguments and one more thing that we can do here is instead of uh saving the lambda expression in a variable and calling this variable if i want to do this what i can do is i can also go ahead and say print and then i can just go ahead and say lambda uh, x for example and it should just return x to the power three and now instead of uh, saving this and calling it later on, what we do is we uh, call it directly after the definition. So I have the lambda, uh, lambda expression. It's not saved anywhere. I can only use it this particular time. And what I do is I just pass a number. So for example, five, and I'll get 125 as a result, which is five times five times five. So this is also a way to call lambda expressions directly. So let us look at some practical examples of lambda expressions. Where are they used? Now, usually you use lambda expressions and anonymous functions when you need to pass functions into other functions, um, but the functions that you pass are not too complicated. So for example, when you're filtering out values from a list based on a function, or when you're mapping a function onto a collection and the function's not too complicated, uh, you can use lambda expressions. And for this, we're going to look at a simple example here that we already looked uh, at when we talked about list comprehensions. We have a list of numbers random numbers here, 8, 66, 12, 14, 15, 7, 99, 109, 88, 76. And what we want to do is we want to filter out some values. So we want to only have the, uh, we only want to have the even values, for example. And what we do is we say um, new list, or actually let's say even numbers equals and then we want to use the filter function the filter function is a very simple function you just pass a function uh some function here and then the collection so numbers and if the function returns true for the individual element it's get, it gets uh filtered into the new list and otherwise you don't get it into the new list and usually what we do is we say def 
filter function, for example, and then we pass a value and some criteria. Uh, and if the criteria is met, we return true and otherwise we return false. Now, if the criteria is, is the number even or not, we just pass return, uh, or we return x uh, modulus two equals zero. And this returns true if it is true and false if it's false, obviously. Um, but this is a one liner. And because of that, we don't need to define a function, a formal function, what we can do is we can use lambda expression. So we can say, filter, and then we pass lambda x, and we say x modulus two equals zero. This is the function and we apply it onto the numbers list. And of course, we need to typecast that into a list. Otherwise, we get an iterable that we cannot print. Or we can print it, but we can't see the values. And when we do that, you can see that we filter out all the uh, ignore that one. This was just a test run. Uh, but here you can see the list of even numbers from this list filtered out using a lambda expression. Now, the same thing can also be done with the map function. Now, instead of saying filter, we can just go ahead and create a new list, um, call it squared numbers, squared numbers. And here we're going to say list again, map. And now we're mapping the function lambda x, lambda x, x to the power of two onto each element of the numbers list. And then we can go ahead and print the squared numbers. And this is also a way to apply uh, lambda expressions in order to map functions. If the function is too simple, why would you want to? And if you only need the function for this particular case, why would you want to define it formally in Python? Uh, you can also just use lambda expressions. And the last thing that we're going to look at is um, you can actually not only define lambda expressions uh, independently, you can also return them in functions. So let's say you have a formal function, uh, my function here and you pass a value. And then what you want is to return a function. You don't want to return a value, but you want to return a callable function. This is something that you can do. Uh, for example, a very simple thing is you just return uh, lambda x and then x times or actually this is a let's say this is the number. And then you say x times number or num. Now, in this case, what you do is you pass a value. And what you get is you get a function that multiplies the input by that value. So um, we could actually say 10 multiplier, this is the function equals my function 10. Because what you get then is a lambda expression that says the input is multiplied by 10. Because that is what we return here, we return a lambda expression uh, that has some value num that is not defined directly here. But when you pass 10, this value becomes 10. And then uh, you get a function that multiplies the input by 10. And of course, if I print 10 multiplier 20, I'll get 200 as a result. If I pass 54, I get 540 as a result. So as you can see, you can also return and pass uh, lambda expressions. So that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel in order to see more future videos for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.